morning traders and this is your DAX day trade setup for today and um, yeah so pretty much a mixed bag of price action at the moment um, if you look at the, the last two days I mean a massive gap up to an all-time high and then big pullback pullback continues through most of the morning and then the buyers step in off a level and drive it up and we ended up with a hammer okay that's a pretty bullish sign. This pin bar is a very bullish sign off uh, a level. So for me, you know, trend is still up. We're looking for longs. I know we do have uh, some oscillators indicating that we are looking a little bit over overbought. But until you get uh, confirmation on price action of a trend reversal, you need to ignore your oscillators, especially on the higher time frames. Okay, lower time frames that play out, play out more often than not, but on the higher time frames, it's a lot longer cycle that it goes through. If you look at the three hour, um, you know, I mean, big down, big up, big down, big up, um, big confusion. However, if we look at the oscillators now, off a level, I would say we're looking for longs, especially the fact that they're buying into the close. Okay, looking to the left, you can see all the structure here at the left, and you would have expected something to happen off one of these levels. And uh, it pretty much just went down to the bottom of the range. So that was our original top of the range. We've broken through it a couple of times. And this was always our bottom of the range. Okay, there could be some bigger structure forming here with a sh shoulder head and then a bit of a rally, a lower high, and then start falling down shoulder. Um, very possible, but then we need to break through the bottom here, 13178 for that to be validated. Okay, so at the moment, um, sideways, range bound, and uh, you're looking for longs off the top, and you're targeting pretty much the top of the range, but more likely um, all-time highs is what you're looking for. Now, this is not something that I traded yesterday, but what has happened is we have got a double bottom here. Okay, I'll just use a, a block for you. There is our potential double bottom. It's not validated yet. I just move this one to there. That's our target of the double bottom. So that is 13.598, let's just say 13.600 area. Okay. And the double bottom needs to break pretty much above where we tagged yesterday. Okay, so you can see there's my double bottom. Um, look at the diversion that lines up with it as well. So you've got low, lower, low, low, higher, low. Okay, everything is lining up for indication that this is a double bottom. And if I just take it one step further and we just put on a uh, Bollinger Bands, you will see outside the Bollinger Bands, inside the Bollinger Bands. So from Bollinger Bands perspective, this is a W bottom or double bottom. Okay, so we're looking for a close above pretty much the high of, of yesterday. So, which brings the um, the pin, the daily pin bar into effect. If we do get a move above that, that gives us a move outside the height of the pin bar. Okay, so that kind of the view that I have at the moment and um, as you can see our fractals from yesterday we had the gap down the move to the underside move down back to the move to the underside of the fractal tested it before pretty big move down and here's another double bottom here a smaller one with these pin bars which basically move the price up okay so sure. Um, let's just line that up. So you look at the 12 minute, we do have a move above this fractal here, but uh, that's actually null and void at the moment. So we're looking for the hourly break of this black fractal here. And I don't see any opportunity to get in. So let's just quickly look what's happening on the markets right now. DAX futures, flat, everything's flat. Uh, Oil, oil flats after falling quite heavily yesterday. Um, yeah, so everything is pretty flat at the moment. 
So I would anticipate you're going to see some structure form during the first hour of trading. So the first um, first hour on the DAX will obviously be the pre-market, um, and then in that next hour, which is the actual market trading, in those first two hours you should see some form of structure happening on the 12 minute, um, some fractals forming which will give you some areas to put your stops in, but I'm looking for longs. Okay, I don't see a strong move like this to come and test the um, the neckline of the double bottom really fails and uh, with diversions as well it very really fails you've probably got a, a probability of like 70 percent that the thing's moving up okay um, the only other thing that could possibly happen is it starts forming a range and it turns here and come back to downside which is also possible because we've sort of flirting with a 200 ema on the hour here okay so backwards and forth but let's just quickly look at the um ichimoku i don't think it's going to give us any value because of the range bound trading that we're going through at the moment a 12 minute is messy um, the only th positive thing here is we've broken through the cloud we've got a twist crossover um chico span is through price but not through the cloud at the moment so that's fairly bullish there's a lot of bullish signals there the half hour is a different story we've just had the crossover which is bullish that's bullish the cloud is still red um, so I do anticipate some sideways movement here, or even a break up, test off here, come back down, up a bit, down a bit, and then break up, something like that. Um, don't anticipate it just flying through that structure. And uh, the hour also agrees with that. You can see huge tickets and flat were in between. But that means range. So that could also play out. Just bear that in mind. So we've got high probability of a double bottom. But if it does fail, and it can fail, we then have a potential range forming. Okay, and there are going to be people who are going to be looking for shorts at the open here to drive it back down. Okay, um, if you look at the four hour, nothing really playing out. We are below Keys and Tekinson, but Cloud is bullish, Chico Span is bullish, and there's no clear picture here. So there's no um, crossover at the downside or crossover at the upside pretty much on top of each other, indecisive. So price action perspective, we've got a pin bar, inside bar, confirmation, double bottom, um, diversions. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm saying there's, all the signals are to the upside. Okay, and if we look at the daily, hammer in an area where buyers keep stepping in, look at all these tails here where the buyers are stepping in, um, off an area where buy sellers were selling. So it's a fairly significant level. Um, looking at the oscillators, they grouped not all the way to the downside, but um, I'll take that. So signals here again is trend should be continuing to the upside. Probably still as messy as it has been in the last three months, but um, it's good enough for a, a 50 to 100 point trade every day. And um, if you've got tight stop losses on that, you can load up fairly significant levels. Um, the weeks, we know the week is uh, bullish. Okay, so just quick summary here. Going to be watching this double bottom. Um, if we do get a move above, and I'm going to move that to there. Let's just delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Okay, so we're going to need to get at least a 12 minute close above 13488, and I'd also like to see an hour close above that which would give me the confirmation. But um, also anticipate a move to the downside. But even if it creates a lower, sort of a higher low, that's still going to give me an opportunity to get in. So then what I'd be doing is on the 12 or 15 minutes, whatever your charting package allows you to do, I'd be looking for a retest of these breakout fractals here. Okay, so I'm looking for a bit of a move back down, test, Moving averages continue pointing to the upside. You could have three attempts at the 200 moving average here um, through the morning, but that's going to form a structure that I'm talking about. So move down, move up, move down, move up, and it'll start forming fractals, which will give you a fractal break to the upside or fractal break to the downside. Fractal breaks to the downside. Um, not sure I want to be chasing any shorts at the moment. Um, not with what I'm seeing here on the hour. Not with this pattern here. 
Okay, so even if it does move to the downside and it starts forming a bit of a range, or what could possibly happen is it forms, comes back to test 200 here, and uh, that would form a right shoulder for inverse head and shoulders, which would just give you another pattern which would validate a double, double bottom inverse head and shoulders, doesn't matter what you want to call it. And lastly, also a, not really a flag break, I suppose you could argue that it is a flag, uh, more of a channel break for me than a flag break. So it is possible for it to come back and test that as well. Okay, but um, so you just need structure. So it's either a pullback we're waiting for, or we want to see some choppy sideways motion backwards and forth forming a little mini range. And then it's a break to the upside of the range or the stop below the, the low of the range. Okay, so those are the two structures I'm looking for. If it does fall all the way back to the downside, um, I'm not interested in chasing the short. I'll wait lower down for more structure and then look for longs again. Okay, anyway guys, hope it helps and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.